Understanding Stillbirth Stillbirth is the death of the baby after 20 weeks of pregnancy. It is common, affecting one in every 150 pregnancies. Families affected by stillbirth are left with long-lasting sadness and often depression. Many mothers blame themselves. Recent research in Newcastle, Australia, reveals that in many cases, the cause lies not in the mother, but in the placenta, an organ of the baby. The placenta is created as part of the pregnancy. It is responsible for the transport of oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby and waste products from the baby to the mother. The placenta consists of many lobules containing tree-like structures called villi. The villi are the site of oxygen and nutrient exchange. The mother's blood enters the placenta by specially modified arteries and gently circulates around the villi. The branches of the villi bathe in the nutrient-rich blood. The mother's blood then leaves the placenta, carrying away carbon dioxide and other waste products. The mother's blood and the blood of the baby never mix. Separating the two is a single giant cell that covers the entire inner surface of the placenta, including the villi. The single giant cell is called the syncytiotrophoblast. The syncytiotrophoblast covering the surface of the villi transports the nutrients and oxygen from the mother's red blood cells to the red blood cells of the baby. Within the syncytiotrophoblast are organelles called mitochondria. The mitochondria use oxygen to convert the sugar contained in nutrients into energy. This stored energy supports the functions of the placenta. The cell also has a recycling system called autophagy, which is key to keeping the placenta functioning efficiently. As part of the syncytiotrophoblast recycling system, autophagosomes swallow abnormal proteins and aging cell components such as mitochondria and they then combine with acid-filled structures called lysosomes which break down the proteins into materials the cell can reuse for energy and cell maintenance. With these and other cellular mechanisms working efficiently the placenta can meet the increasing needs of the baby, resulting in the development and delivery of a healthy baby. Unfortunately, not all placentas remain healthy. In some cases, the placenta starts to age before the birth of the baby. This process begins in the syncytiotrophoblast with deterioration in the function of the mitochondria. As the mitochondria age, they release dangerous molecules called free radicals. These free radicals can cause damage to all the structures within the syncytiotrophoblast and produce aging in the placenta. The more the placenta ages, the more free radicals are produced. These aging related effects prevent lysosomes from binding to autophagosomes. As a result, the defective contents cannot be broken down, causing the autophagosomes to enlarge and fill the syncytiotrophoblast, reducing its function. This cellular damage can cause blockages in the maternal arteries. This causes a decrease in blood supply 
and an increase in the velocity of blood entering the space between the villi. This damages the placental tissue, reducing the amount of oxygen available for the mitochondria to create energy and to meet the needs of the growing baby. Together, these aging-related changes in the placenta lead to the sudden death of the baby. To prevent this devastating outcome, Scientists in the Newcastle Centre are developing blood tests to identify the presence of an ageing placenta, indicating the pregnancy is at risk of stillbirth. This will allow for treatment to slow the ageing process or delivery before the death of the baby. So in the future, more babies will be born well-grown and healthy.